there were about four reasons why I uh, felt close to the GDR, why I really felt myself a part of it. One basic reason was because right starting in 1945, under pressure from the Soviets who occupied it, they got rid of all of the war criminals who had been guilty of Hitler's crimes in the war. That's where these big industry banks and so forth who had built Hitler up uh, and profited from his war. They were all thrown out. And that for me was, a, 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 as a Jewish anti-fascist, especially important. The second thing was because East Germany, as opposed to West Germany, supported Allende in Chile, South African freedom movement, uh, the anti-Franco movement in Spain, North Vietnam. These were things which were part of my upbringing, always for the underdog, and I supported A third reason was because the GDR, in its way, which was very complicated, that I would come to with the bad parts, but it was trying to establish a society where nobody was poor, where poverty was done away with. And it largely succeeded in this. In fact, the, one of the main things I think of when I go through the streets coming now to visit the States again, in all the years, 38 years I lived there, I didn't see one single person sleeping in the street or one single beggar. And to add to that, they succeeded with a, with a certain basic tax that all medical expenses were covered, everything, including all prescription groups. You never paid a penny more. And education the same. I went to college. My two sons went to college. We didn't not only pay no tuition, you got a certain amount every month to cover basic expenses. Things like that, the same with maternal leave and child care was free. These were good things um, that, I, that I liked. As for the bad things, because of this, because they chased out all these big, big, big shots and huge economic things, and because they, um, a lot of people never really appreciated this or liked, or, or some people took it for granted this after a while that they didn't pay only a tenth of their pay for rent, for example. They were constantly under pressure from the West constantly. And little East Germany, which is only a, a, a third of Germany, could never compete with rich West Germany with all its modern commodities and its Marshall Plan money, etc. It could never compete. It was able to uh, make sure that everybody had enough to get along. But an awful lot of goods were missing. Good, uh, nice cars, even many fruits, bananas were short, for example, um, many other commodities. And this made put them at such a, a, a disadvantage that many people thought, gee, we want to go ac across. And this forced, a, 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 or this meant a degree of repression, which was the basic negative part of East Germany. Repression in terms of, give us a little sense of what that meant. Well, there was no freedom of the press, for example. The press, the publications, all the media were basically directed by the central party. Um, that means there were variations and there were phases where it was stricter and less strict, but by and large, there was no freedom of the press. And also, People were, were not afraid of the, the Stasi and everything where they said this secret uh, state security. They talked freely in private terms and generally, but in public, at meetings and so forth, people were careful as to what they said. They, might, they wouldn't be thrown in jail, but they might not get a bonus. They might not get a promotion. They might not get this or that perk or advantage.